Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how to change the mirror indicator. Uh, mine stopped working, so I've bought some new ones, which comes in this box. And I've bought some sweeping ones as well, because mine don't sweep. And you get the two, and you also get this trim removal, which I think you use to pry out the uh, mirror itself in the wing mirror. And you also get a screwdriver, which I think you'll need to undo a few of the screws in there so yeah first of all you probably want to do this turn on ignition then you're going to want to undo the window that way the mirror itself can like hang inside the car and not like dangle on the paintwork and scratch it and now i'm going to turn this all off because i'm going to be playing with electrics so yeah let's get into it right so here we go pull out the mirror of this trim remo removal piece oh there you go it comes out in a jiffy Maybe try from the top as well. Yeah, it wants to come out. It knows it's broken. It knows it needs replacing. Yeah, it's definitely getting loose now. Yeah. Try this side as well. It's only a matter of time now. There we go, I think I've got it, I think I've got it. I heard it click again. It should be out now, surely. Come on. I know you want to come out. Great. Oh no. The situation update, I got it off and it was a massive faff. I'm not sure it would actually come off properly, but I'm gonna, say it has for now and if it hasn't then this is an absolute fail video but we'll see so yeah this is now off and as you can see there is lots of water ingress there but there's no need to panic now and yeah my trim tool uh, piece actually snapped in the making of this video and many many uh bad words came out of my mouth okay if you can see these tabs here you need to push them in inwards and give it a bit of welly It also works like that, if you do like that. This video is a disaster, but it's much more entertaining for you guys, that's for sure. Well, it seems in, upon closer inspection, there's loads of tape that's been shoved down here, which definitely isn't um, something that's meant to be there. But, hmm, I will prevail. So now you've got three screws you need to do. You've got one here, one here, and one I've always put out. And then you got also one here, so I'll just do those quickly. Yes, finally we got those out. So now it's just a case of locating this wire. Get out, yes. And then just taking the connector out which I'm assuming you pinch and give it some worry. As you can see here, there's actually a lot of water and if you tip it down, you see the water swishing inside here. So I don't know what's caused that. It might be to do with here, inside here. Okay, with a large amount of welly, um, I managed to get the connector out. Um, it takes quite a lot of force, a lot more force than I thought it would. But yeah, this is a connector. I need to get the new one and plug it in. Right. Here we go. Look at that. Seamless. So it should be a case of push in and connect. Update. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a pain to get through. Uh, pushing this and making it line up with the indicator. Uh, basically what I had to do was, was like to like squeeze it together and then you kind of in line together. You want those two in line. And so now it's all now snug and fit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get these screws, all four of them, and then put it all back together. Now, if we turn on the hazard lights, we should be able to get some light, which just swoops across along there. Yeah, look at that. 
And if you come over to the other side, that's what the original one looks like. What do you think of that? Oh, isn't it beautiful? Okay, now we've done that, it's now time to put on the plate for the mirror, which I'm sure goes on like this. Oh yeah, listen to that satisfying click. <laughs> I've done something. Ah, look at that. It's nice, it's all snuggly and warm. And now for the mirror. I don't know actually know how this goes on, but I'm just going to guess it's a just a clip-on job. So if we just that's a bit loose. That's, that's a bit loose for my liking. Righty tighty. Righty tighty, right? It is righty tighty. Now, if we just push this in here. So, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I have to be quite honest, it probably took me the best part of about 50 minutes to an hour. It's probably more like a 15 minute job if you're a bit more competent. Getting the mirror off in particular was very, very difficult for me. Um, I tried to pry it off and it literally took me about half an hour to 40 minutes. And I actually ended up snapping the trim removal tool and it got stuck wedged inside the uh, glass, which is a faff to get back out. Um, and then obviously clipping, pushing the, uh, the clips out to get this plastic piece off, um, that went flying, which is quite funny, I guess. Uh, and yeah, getting the screws out and then getting the indicator um, light and, and getting the wire to plug out is quite stiff. And then the fitment to get it back together, you have to kind of wedge these two plastic pieces together, which isn't really easy. But look at that. Doesn't it look magnificent compared to that? Compared to that, it's, it's nine day difference. And I have to say, I'm actually really proud of myself i'm not really a practical person i'm not really good at practical things but i'm actually really proud of myself for doing this uh, so let me know if you want to see more of me fixing stuff and doing practical videos because they're quite funny but just very painful process for me behind the scenes because a lot of stuff will be cut out but yeah i think it looks really good so um i hope this has helped you in some way and you might be able to do it yourself much better than i did and yeah comment down below any questions you have thank you very much for watching and uh like and subscribe and i'll see you in the future